Hey guys, what's up, it's Thrill and welcome back to another big case unboxing. So recently I just hit my 50,000 subscriber milestone and of course I am going to open 50 cases because of that. Uh, yeah, basically I'm just searching for reason to do another big <laughs> case unboxing again. But yeah, I'm really happy that my channel has been grown so much lately. Um, I've started YouTube about one year ago and it's just incredible how fast my channel has grown. I never expected that. So big thank you guys for the great support. And also to let you guys know there will be another case, uh, there will be another video soon where you can also win some stuff and I will announce some new things. So yeah, today I will open 50 breakout cases. Um, that was a pretty damn expensive unboxing. I had to sell my flip my fate for that. So I really hope that I can get some pretty cool skins today and maybe even make some profit. First case will be the UMP Corporal. Oh, it's a UMP Labyrinth. Wait, what was the Corporal from? Isn't the Corporal a UMP as well? I really can't remember right now. Second case, MP7 Urban Hazard, okay. Still plenty of cases to go. I really want to get at least one red skin. So the P90 or the Cyrex, that would be cool. <laughs> oh yes 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 that was funny oh my god that might even be factory new that looks so good let's check please 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 what it's in field tested but that looks so good nice i'm taking that i'm happy about that nice third case already and let's see next up another ump all right so that's a pretty good start already and maybe since I have to open, no not since I have to but since I'm going to open so many cases I could also talk about some other stuff so let's quickly check out the next case will be the PP Bison Osiris so yeah I've been doing YouTube for about one year now um, I've had some videos before that but I would say that I've been actively doing YouTube for about one year now and yeah my channel has been growing quite a bit I never expected to get anywhere near 50k subs in in the time of one year so I'm very happy about that and yeah I want to know from you guys which kind of videos do you enjoy the most so I know there are some people that only watch my unboxings and yeah I mean there are people out there that only want to see unboxings um, but I've tried to do some other stuff on my channel recently like the matchmaking in a in, uh, what was it? matchmaking in a nutshell video that includes some acting. I know it wasn't the best acting you've ever seen, but yeah, that's something that I really enjoy doing, like some storytelling videos, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that, and I also have a bunch of ideas for more videos like that. So just let me know what you want to see. Also, I've recently started um, recording some live gameplays, like the matchmaking that I play together with Reggie, Hatton, Sparkles and Bear. Um, I really haven't been doing many live gameplays on my channel, so let me know if you want to see more of that. And yeah, just let me know what you want to see on my channel in the future and I will read through all of your guys' comments and see what you guys want. So in the meantime, I've opened some more cases and didn't really get anything special, a few purple ones, Nova Koi. CZ Victoria, no not Victoria, what is it called, the Tigris or Tigris, okay. Also I've been thinking about doing some sort of live stream in the future, so basically I've been streaming for a couple of weeks now um, for my German audience, so that's a German live stream, some of you guys might have seen it um, when scrolling around the Twitch page there and yeah, I've had a lot of people asking me in that stream if I couldn't do a stream in English, so let's talk about that right now. Um, basically, I will not become a streamer because um, my time schedule doesn't allow that, but I think every now and then I might be able to squeeze a little live stream in there, so let me know if you would like to see something like that or if you would watch that, like some sort of live unboxings or maybe even some live matchmakings, I'm not quite sure about that. I mean, it basically depends on how many of you guys would be enjoying to watch me live stream. 
Um, let's see. Really didn't get lucky within the last cases. So I maybe should go back and focus on my unboxing here. I'm almost halfway through, I think. Ah, getting spammed by the by those UMPs. Already got a few of these. So I already got four purple skins, so I might even be able to do a trade-off video to a pink skin by the end of this. And it, of course it's another UMP. Okay. So let's see, that are 18 cases gone. Still plenty to go though. Negative Desert Strike. By the way, since this Operation Breakout is going to end in a couple of weeks, wait, what is this? I think two or three weeks it's going to end. Um, I think these cases are the best out there, even better than the Bravo case since um, it has its own knife. So I would advise you guys to go and buy, oh, that's so unlucky, <laughs> buy one field and I get the freaking UMP again. All right, but I would advise you guys to go out and buy a few breakout cases because I think these are going to get very expensive in the future. Like if you go and check out the Bravo case that you cannot get any longer. I mean, it drops every now and then, but it's pretty rare. And really the Bravo case only has the AK-47 Fire Serpent. And I think that's the reason, the main reason why it got so expensive. It's about, I'm not sure it was about $4 when I checked it last time. And yeah, it's only that one good skin in there that makes it so expensive, the AK-47 Fire Serpent. But if you look at the breakout cases, we have so many nice skins in there. We have the Glock 18 Water Elemental, the P90 SMF, the M4A1 as Cyrex, and we even have I just missed another stat track for play. Crap. And on top of that we even have the butterfly knife. That's a knife that you can only get from these breakout cases. So if you want to make some money, I would advise you guys to go and spend some of your Steam wallets on breakout cases. Keep them for a couple of months, maybe a couple of weeks. But I can assure you that these will get expensive, these cases. Nice! Statrek Novakoi, that's finally another good skin. So I've been doing that lately, I've saved up a couple of breakout cases already and I'm not sure if I will sell these or maybe do a huge breakout case unboxing in a couple of months where I basically will go and try to get another butterfly knife. Um, I would be better off if I just sold these I guess, but we'll see. Negative Desert Strike and I miss it by one field again. Crap. I mean, that's not that bad. I don't really like the foul play, but it would be another pink skin. Ah, oh, again! The stat trick foul play. Oh man. It is. It has started off so good with the Cyrex in the third case, but now I just keep missing the good stat trick guns. But still plenty cases to go. And of course I'm still secretly hoping for another butterfly knife. I would really love to get another butterfly knife. That's my favorite knife at the moment. Don't ask me why, but I just love the animation and I think the butterfly knife is so cool. I mean I got that butterfly knife case hardened in my first breakout case unboxing, but yeah, let's be honest, it, it was not battle scarred and it basically looked like a piece of, piece of crap. But yeah, sometime in the future I really want to try and get another cool butterfly knife. But I mean, these are so expensive. Um, butterfly knife, um, let's see, the best camos are Crimson Web, Slaughter and Fate. These are so expensive, you can't even get them on the market. I think that's also the reason why the breakout cases will get so expensive, of course, of course for that knife. I mean, if you look at the Huntsman cases, or especially the Huntsman knife, it has dropped pretty quickly in price. You could you could just go out there on the market and look for the Huntsman Knife Fate, Huntsman Crimson Web, Huntsman Slaughter and you will find some on the market but you won't be able to find a Butterfly Knife Slaughter or Fate on the market because these are just too expensive at the moment. 
Ah, I'm still getting crap. Also, you guys could tell me what your favorite kind of knife is. I guess most of you guys will say the Karambit or the M9 Bayonet. I think that's that are the two kinds of knife that people like the most. But yeah, the gut knife is probably the knife that people hate the most. And also, I think the flip, 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 whoop, the fifth Laren fate. What? No, the flip knife fate is the knife um, that should get more attention. The flip knife. I really like the flip knife fate. That's why I got one a couple of months back. I think the fate camo looks best on the flip knife, to be honest. And yeah, I think the flip knife, all in all, is a pretty cool knife. And it's still for the price. It's pretty good. I mean, you could just go on the market, get a flip knife fade, and it's not even that expensive compared to other um, skins or compared to other kind of knives. So yeah, I really like the flip knife fade, but I think if it keeps going like that, I might not even be able, well, I think I'm not even close at the moment, but I probably won't be able to get the money back from this case unboxing to be able to buy my flip knife fade back on the market. Probably not. I mean, I got the M4A1S Cyrix, which should be something about $60, I think, in field tested. Maybe a bit more, I'm not quite sure. But besides that, I really didn't get something too special. I got a Statrek Nova Koi, which probably is about $2. Come on, give me at least a water elemental. Or at least some purple skins, but I, because I think at the moment I wouldn't be even able to do a trade-up contract to a pink because I get so many blue skins at the moment. Give me some purples, so many UMPs. Okay, six more cases, come on. Ah, another urban hazard. Come on, please. So many good skins in these cases. There it is, at least the purple. So we are getting closer to the trade-up contract to a purple gun, uh, to a pink gun. Four more cases. Please, please, please. One more good skin. Or at least the purple. Nice. Another purple. I think we should be good now. Should be able to do a trade-up contract to a pink now. Let's see, what could we get? We could get the Desert Eagle Conspiracy, the Fall Play, or the Glock 18 Water Elemental. Um, I think the Water Elemental would be the best. Wow, last two cases that went by so quickly. Another MP7 Urban Hazard, and now all the hope on the last case. Time to knock on the table. Come on, last case. No, <laughs> it's the trick water elemental right there in the middle. Crap, that would have been amazing from the last case right now. But yeah, that's it. Started off so good, but besides that, M4A1S Cyrex, it was pretty bad, to be honest. Got so many Scout Abyss and so many Desert Strikes, so I think I might be able I might be able to do a trade off contract with full scouts right here, and I am. So let's just trade up contract all of these. And the first purple skin will be the Nova Koi. Okay. Then we have also lots and lots of these Desert Strikes Negevs. I will be able to do another full trade-up contract with these. P250 Supernova. Then we have all those UMP UMP skins right there. Pretty sure I can get a full trade-up contract out of these. Yep. Another Nova Koi. And I think I should have enough right now for a trade-up contract to a pink, pretty sure. That will be another purple right there. Bison Osiris, alright, let's see that. 
that should be enough yeah that's enough nice so we can do one more trade up contract guys to a purple skin to a pink skin and i would love to get that lock water elemental to be honest so let's see i think i might even be able to make profit out of that if i happen to get the water elemental so let's see the last skin of the day will be a 5-7 fall play of course the worst that i could possibly get from this straight up contract so yeah guys 50 operation breakout cases gone i am left with five skins <laughs> the m4a1 is cyrex and field tested is pretty damn good and it looks pretty damn good for a field tested skin i'm very happy about that but besides that a Stetric nova koi looks nice isn't worth a ton i think 5-7 fold play in minimal wear condition also not the best or also not the skin that you top for if you open um, so many cases so yeah i most certainly lost a lot of money in this case unboxing i mean could have been worse could have been worse and with that being said thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this unboxing and i will see you guys in my next video